Good morning, happy day, happy day. Today is National Dog Biscuit Day. Maybe it's International Dog Biscuit Day, I'm not sure. Either way, we celebrating because it's all about dogs and it's all about cookies and well, that's what we do around here, right? So today let's talk dog biscuits, shall we? Dog treats. It's actually a dog treat chat. Uh, as you may or may not know, last summer, all four of my Bostons came up with seasonal allergies all at the same time. Boom. <laughs> like, yeah, I know they're getting older. Yeah, I know things change. Yeah, I know seasonal allergies is a problem, but all four at the exact same time? What? That set off a domino effect. Um, in researching it and whatnot, I found out that the dog food we were feeding them um, changed their recipe. And apparently, in my humble opinion, uh, something did not agree with the dogs and it set off allergies that they never had before. They never had allergies before, not one of them. They st and how did I know they had allergies? Because, and I assumed it was seasonal because it was summer. Um, but all four started licking their paws, licking their paws excessively and itching. Although Riley here never licked her paws, but she itched and scratched and itched and scratched. Buddy here, can I see your paws? He's still licking like crazy here on his front paw, his forearms or whatever. And he, he chews his feet. I take that back. He has always chewed his back feet. I think he's allergic to grass and or leaves. So we got some spray and then when he'd come in, I'd rinse off his, I'd take a wipe and wipe off his feet. And then if he was still chewing later on, I would spray them with <clears throat> an allergy spray. Ridley here, he's lick, he's lick, licking his paws too. Look how, yep, how discolored they are and wet all the time. So try as we might, we have not quite, pardon the pun, licked this allergy thing. Hi, little Bitsy. We got new beds. That's always fun. Maybe I'll do a, a review on these beds because we love them um but back to the treats so we've always done these bulk fairly inexpensive treats every time we go outside and go potty when we come in we get wet potty outside treats these are made in the u.s uh sourced in the u.s not terribly expensive and to me they seemed pretty benign they're you know there's not any colors in them there's not any miscellaneous weird stuff in them um we were also doing right next to these at the dog treat store there's also uh, what look like little cheese it's crackers that are supposed to be cheese flavored and colored with um i believe they use vegetable coloring so probably colored with carrots or sweet potatoes or whatever but i was finding in that in those little cookies these white chips that to me looked like wood chips tiny tiny little i i don't know what they were i asked about them at the dog food store and everyone said well i never noticed eh, eh. well i did and i i'm not gonna feed them if we don't know what those little white chunks are, we're not gonna feed it to them. That's a simple thing. So we don't get the Cheez-Its anymore. Um, as you may or may not know, we did a Dr. Marty's experiment. I will be doing, uh, now that I have a new computer and a new phone, everything died on me last, uh, right after I started this. So we had to do upgrades and I had to relearn everything and eh, not an excuse, but it's the only one I have. Anyway, we did a Dr. Marty's experiment. Um, I do have a bag here. We use this only on occasion, maybe once or twice a month as a bedtime snack. 
more on that in that video. We still use these cookies um, even though I recently learned that they are grain free. Now, I've been having these for my dogs for 10 plus years. I didn't realize they were grain free. I recently talked to our vet and she suggests grain free, uh, not always a good idea, especially grain free, grain free food. Um, she mentioned something about the pea protein and using, um, peas and legumes for the, the protein um, actually causes a, um, a lack of a certain vitamin or something. Uh, so the food itself isn't bad, but the reaction to the food causes a, a deficiency that causes heart problems. Now, that's a huge claim and I am no expert. I'm just going on what she said what I remember her saying, um, cause we were trying grain free foods to try to overcome the allergy issues. Um, <clears throat> and she, she just really was pretty adamant in saying, mm, I wouldn't go grain free. Uh, especially one of my four has, no, oh, Mr. Ridley, he has an enlarged heart. Yes, he does. But he may have always had it. I, I don't have a baseline. I didn't have it, any x-rays when he was younger. So he, he may have always had a big heart. And that's why everybody loves Ridley. Because his heart's three times the normal size. Because he's just that kind of a guy. Full of love. Right, Riley? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, so grain-free is especially troublesome for him. Because he already has heart problems. And if it causes heart problems, I don't want the rest of them to have them. So we still do these, um, but this is the only grain free thing that we have currently. Um, and I figure a few cookies aren't going to hurt. And I don't know that these have pea protein in. I should, I should next time I'm there see, um, if they are using the pea protein and legumes. If not, well then we're, we're okay. So we have bumped up not only our grade of food um, since all of this started, but we also started um, with higher quality treats. Now I've used these quite a bit. Um, oh, they smell so good. They smell just like blueberry muffins. I figure if I would eat it, <clears throat> if it smells good enough that I would eat, it can't be bad. Um, these have whole brown rice, oatmeal, chicken meal, molasses, Sunflower oil, dried blueberries, dried cranberries, dried cherries. <sighs> um, high quality protein found in the recipe, non-GMO. I mean, it, it's all good. They seem to really like it. Um, not terribly expensive. I think this this is about four or five dollars, five maybe. Of course, the Dr. Marty's. <clears throat> if you get the right link. You can get this bag for about $25, which is still incredibly pricey. Uh, another reason why we only serve it a couple of times a month. Um, again, more on, on that when we do the Dr. Marty's follow-up video. Um, but again, this is just a snack. It's just a treat. It's not something we serve all of the time. These wingalings seemed kind of good. I don't know applewood bacon flavor something different for them i wanted whole health quality ingredients dog tested and approved um i always read the ingredients first deboned chicken not chicken meal it's deboned chicken that's good dried sweet potatoes dried potatoes this one does have peas in it. I think I bought these before I knew about the peas problem. Uh, what I don't like about these is A, they smell like the fake, mm, I shouldn't say fake, but they smell like the, I could smell this same stuff in the old food. It's hard to describe. It's almost like a bullion smell. Um, mm, the other thing I don't like about this is they're ridiculously hard. And Ridley and Riley both 
Riley and little man Ridley have very soft teeth. Can we see your teeth? He's worn his teeth right down to, well, you can't even see him. Yeah, you can't even see his teethers. His, all of his teeth have been worn right down to the gum because they're so, so soft. Right, Bitsy? Bitsy's the only one with super sharp teeth. Her teeth and her nails are crazy sharp. These two have soft teeth. And so they're worn down. And so if I want to give this to Ridley, which I really don't because it has the pea protein in it and it's stinky, um, I have to water them. I have to break it into small pieces and add some water to soften them. Sometimes I can't even break them. Um, so we don't use these much. They'll probably get thrown out because they're, I just don't, I just don't like them. This is one of our favorites right now. Um, these organic, Grandma Lucy's organic oven baked dog treats. Pumpkin recipe and they're just the cutest little like animal crackers. They're so cute. Um, USDA organic. Um, made with organic wheat flour and a whole bunch of other stuff. Organic pumpkin, sunflower oil, de oil, sunflower less than vanilla. They, these smell really good too. These smell just like <clears throat> when I was a little kid, my grandma would make pies and with the extra pie crust, the little bits of pie crust that were left over, she'd roll it out thin and then spread cinnamon sugar on them. Happy International Dog Biscuit Day. Yes, happy Dog Biscuit Day. Oh, take the cookie. Yeah, it's a good girl. Here, little man. Even the soft cookies I break down for him because poor, poor little man with no little teethers. Hey, buddy. Um, anyway, they smell like those cookies my grandma used to make. Super, super yummy smelling. They're super soft. Love that. Soft but crispy. They're not a soft treat. Um, they're like a good sh well, sugar cookies are kind of mushy. Um, Super soft, they break really easy. Ridley can chew them, that's all good. Recently, I made some f snuffle balls for them uh, to play with while I work. Um, gives them something to do. You take treats or kibble, and uh, this is just fleece that are cut up into circles and, and zip tied into fours, and then zip tied together. Um, it has these little cubbies and you just stick kibble. Oh, the dishes are empty. Oh my God. Uh, kibble down in there and treats down in there. And, and they have to work and play and throw the ball around and roll the ball around and snuffle out their, their treats. Uh, keeps them occupied, keeps them busy, gives them something to do, uh, makes them happy. And then they get treats and everybody's happy. Um, so I bought these little treats. These are soft, these are super soft treats. And I just break them, even though they're teeny tiny, I break them in, so I don't want them to be eating cookies all day. Um, but if I mix that in with the kibble, you know, they'll get a few bites of kibble and a treat, and a few bites of kibble and a treat. Um, and so I got these, these little ones. Uh, these are on sale, that's why I got two. And they seem to really like them. You know, I, I don't think we found a, a treat that they don't like. Um, so we'll see. And then lastly, when I was trying to solve the allergy problem, uh, the people at the vet, excuse me, the people at the dog food store uh, suggested these Honest Paws Calm. Um, U.S. grown organic full spectrum hemp peanut butter flavored bites and they have five milligrams of CBD oil uh, per bite. Um, these are pretty pricey. I think this bag was $25, 21 or $25. <clears throat> but it's supposed to help um, 
son of Buddy. He's very, he's kind of nervous, sort of. He's got a lot of nervous energy. And so his licking his paws might be stress-induced, perhaps. Ridley's not that way at all. He runs off all his energy. He's not nervous. He's not excitable. Um, so I'm not, look how yellow his paws are. Not yellow, rusty or whatever. Hello, beautiful boy. You're so handsome. You're so handsome. Um, Riley is the only one who has not been licking like crazy. She does scratch though, but that has lessened. Bitsy chews her feet, um, just like her brother, Buddy. See her little paws are rusty, rusty, rusty. Even her back ones, she just, sometimes just gives her. Truth be told, I've only used two of these calm cookies. <laughs> uh, I gave them both to Buddy months apart, at least weeks apart. I don't know how long I've had these cookies, but um, they seem to make him really super sleepy. If he has one of these cookies, he usually sleeps the rest of the day. <laughs> Which, if he's high anxiety and he's having a bad day, is not a bad thing. Um, but I don't wanna, I don't know. I don't wanna dope him all up. I asked the vet about you know, is it safe to give him these cookies? And what do you think about these? And she said, I don't think it's a problem. I wouldn't be afraid of it. Of course, I still am. I haven't given it to the rest of them. Because I don't, I don't want them knocked out all of the time. You know, just like zoned out. Um, I just don't want them having scratchy issues all the time. I just don't want them licking their paws all the time. So we have a wide variety to pick from. I used to make them my own treats. Um, I don't know how or when I had time to do that, but uh, even though I have more time now than ever, I can't seem to find time to bake them cookies. It's bizarre. Um, and I'm not sure they were the healthiest cookies at all. They, they had brown, I made my own homemade brown rice flour, oatmeal flour, um, so I guess they were pretty healthy, I guess. Um, and then I would add things like uh, fresh apple. I did apple peanut butter, apple cranberry, pumpkin cranberry at the holidays, all kinds of different ones. Um, if you'd like, maybe I'll do a video on, on that recipe and, and how to make those. But uh, today we are just celebrating International Dog Biscuit Day. Might as well get all the dog biscuits out and have a chat. Do you use any of these? Do you have any favorites? Um, do you have any any things that um, you think we should try for the allergies? Have you had any experience with the calm cookies? Um, you see my dogs are little. You know, maybe the bigger dogs would, would fare better. Of course, the bigger dogs, you're supposed to give them more. <laughs> so who knows? Maybe big dogs pass out too. I don't know. But we are headed out. We are going to just enjoy this International Dog Biscuit Day and serve up lots of treats, lots of goodies. Maybe tonight will even be a Dr. Marty's night, even though it's not a technically a biscuit. It is sort of a holiday. <laughs> You guys, go give up, go give your dogs lots of loving for us. Give them hugs and kisses, love up, and keep them happy, healthy, safe, and strong, because that's how we like them. Happy, healthy, safe, and strong. Till next time, take care.